Hello there. Welcome to the stream. This is your boy with the truth on the one coming at you live from South Central Los Angeles. We're about to put it down for some Twitch gaming starting right now. Starting right now. We're about to put it down for some Twitch gaming right now. PC gaming was happening. <coughs> I'm about to drop in, drop in some Elden Ring real quick. <coughs> yeah, it's only, it's only cracking there. Everything's all right, you know how we do it over here in South Center. We just put it down every day. You probably thinking like, what's happening? South Center, what's all that about? We don't even know what's going on. We don't know what the hell's going on, what's happening. We just we just here enjoying the games. You trying to make it big on the YouTubes. I'm trying to hit that uh, one mil subscriber plaque. <laughs> Shit. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't doing none of that. Alright, so I've been thinking about I've been thinking about Elder Ring for a minute. It's like, yeah, you know, you buy the game, you play it for a little bit. You don't play it, you don't pass it, you don't do shit, just hang around. You really ain't doing nothing. So right here, I came in here to get this damn motherfucker. This damn motherfucking ass shit. I came here to get this, uh, this right here and I can't even use the motherfucker. Because I just looked at the strength and I didn't look at the intelligence. So it was a waste of time. I just got like my souls. Right, ain't nothing in that motherfucker. So I'm gonna go talk to what's his name. You know who I'm talking about? The motherfucker that was uh, the guy that you invade. The guy that invades you. So where's that? Where's that place where he invades you? You know what I'm saying? Like if you go through here, isn't there a cave? But you gotta go on over here. Was it this? It's not over here, is it? Nah, it's not over here. It's a cave. I'm just gonna go over here so I can just go <coughs> to the lake. You know, Elder Ring is a real good game when you just play it as a casual PvE. I've noticed that that um, I'm not really into the, the PvP, you know. And unfortunately, I'm playing this at 1080p, and I don't even see the difference, you know. Like, like I could imagine this game looking at uh, being 4K, you know. I'm just gonna try to go over here so that I could uh, just drop down. I'm thinking of uh, doing Urias quest because I want to get into the PvP real quick. Do some uh, invasions. I don't know. How, you have to defeat two bosses, evidently. What the fuck, dude? This is just fucking win. I wanna go into the water, bro. Dude, where's the other one? You know what I hate the most of this game? I'm I'm, I'm serious. See these right here? You can't erase them easily. Like there's a there's a one and a two. How is there a one and a two? Okay, that's three. Two and three. 
how are they close proximity when they're actually far away from each other? <coughs> okay, so this part right here, I heard that there's a uh, a drop drop off point. <coughs> there's like a, one of those uh, wind wind tunnels. But where is it though? Oh fuck, can I just try to turn it out from here? There it is, see? There's the wind tunnel right there, but I fucked up. And I heard there's a... there's a... something here. I was looking at a video that tells you all the bosses. Murkwater Cave, have I been here? I have not been here. I heard there's a Murkwater Cave. Okay, here we go. We're about to get fucked by these little fucks. Dude, well, once you fucking swing, they fucking move away. Look at that. Give me the I knew that was gonna happen, that's why I didn't even swing. That's why I didn't swing. So I did a motherfucking swing, bro. <clears throat> Dude, come on. You little fucks. Dude, how the fuck did you hit me from way fucking over there? I just need one hit to your fucks. I'm uh, upgrading my... My tentacles. Fuck me in the ass, dude. Look, man. <clears throat> there has to be. There has to be something done about this, man. This is unacceptable. The fact of the matter is that you, you, you can't even swing at these little fucks. So they're realistic. They're realistic enemies. I'm just gonna get my soul to do. Motherfucker shooting shit. Heal, fucker. Yep. Look at that blood loss, dude. I got saved. The fuck is still alive? Hmm. What is this? <coughs> Root resin. Hit this. <coughs> the motherfucker. There's a fucker in here. How hit the fuck? Oh, dude, I'm getting stuck by the fucking... Why can I swing, bro? Somewhere? A heavy door. Look, it glitched. Look, the game glitched. I can't swing. Look at that. It glitched. Literally. <laughs> the game is fucking, like... I fucking do fix your game for us all, please. I killed those fucks. Now I gotta deal with them running again? No, oh, you fuck. No. No, 
have to kill him again. Look at those fuckers, I have no answer for them. Still getting hit. And he avoids everything. I have no answer for these fucks. I have no answer for these, man. Uh, I have no answer for these. How is it that I can't... I can't hit them. They dodge everything I do. Like, I, I could level up right now. Might as well level up. I'm trying to uh, do a uh, 40 or 50. Oh, dude, look at that. I need 50. 55. Let's pop these, huh? in there watch dude once I start once I started getting higher levels and shit and strength now we just run fuck your asses This guy's really tough. chest or anything? Just a mini boss? There was this YouTube video where it shows all the enemies all the all the mini bosses. And I think that's the thing. That's the main attraction. It's uh, all the all the little stay Caves. <clears throat> yeah, this is the guy I wanted to talk to. Just joining the front. Well, I'm your tarnished. You stay the part. Just remember, don't make your emotions stay. One last word of warning. Stay clear of it. It's as fearsome. So, stay clear of them. <laughs> so that he's going to be a summon for the lake. Okay, so basically that's it. That's the Yuri's quest. And uh I'm trying to get into the PvP so I can get into the farming spot, you know? No. That's Yuri the hunter, you have to meet them first. You have to meet them before they even show up. That's cool. Alright. So, um... Where do you get the bell from? Oh, well. How do you get into the PvP? I have to beat that asshole. What's his name? <clears throat> so I'm gonna meme him with the shackles, huh? Meme him with the shackles. Hmm... Can I defeat the Erd tree? 
Don't ever go there and shit. That's the worst part you could go. Now, um, I know there's a lot of upgrade materials in this cave. Maybe you go up here. But the question is... I want to get into the PvP as quickly as possible. Invade, but I can't because... I'm not online right now. There's a lot of mini bosses. Like, are they like the mini bosses here? Is this a mini boss right here? Let me see. get there how to get there is the question can you get through here can you go up there will I let you go up there is it possible to go up there It's not possible. How the hell do you get up here when there's no way up there? No way up there, dude. I was trying to kill that knight, but he disappeared because I think I end up uh, the knight that the, the knight that comes down at night. do it. Alright. Where is he? Come on, that didn't roll in. Shit, son of a bitch. A shield, sir. It blocks my damage. I'm not worried about bots. You're not a real person. You're just an algorithm. Just algorithms. I don't even know why you bots go to channels that don't even have any viewers. Those fucking stupid asses. Why 
why do I have so much trouble? Even with the great sword, this guy has tremendous, tremendous HP and defense, you know? And he already took all my fucking souls. Did I, no, no, I didn't have that many anyways. <clears throat> Just try to kill all bosses, man. He has a fucking shield, dude. And he hits me. Fuck, dude, where am I getting stuck for? There's no point in even doing that. Why are you fucking hitting me, dude? <sighs> that shit don't make no sense. It 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 hits when you fucking roll. <clears throat> like you have to wait for it to like. What the fuck is... I hate those fucking tracking inputs, man. Like, I rolled? Like, he, he swings when I roll, you know? Like, why does it do that? Oh yeah, right. It's I, I I mean I'm trying I'm trying to break its guard. This weapon is obsolete to this guy. This is literally, this weapon is obsolete. He has hyper armor. His guard break is insane. He's hitting me when I when I when I do the charge attack. Oh my goodness! Why? Why is this game so stupid? You would think a big sword like that would fucking to more damage but it's not it's like hitting with a fucking pebble How would you, what do you do with this guy look there's no there's no guard breaking here Sometimes when when you're just playing with a certain weapon, it makes you makes you really weak. Unless you need some versatility in these type of games, that's why when I play Soul Level One, I have so many options at my disposal. That's why I do that. I know the formula for these type of games. You need to have versatility, and at Soul Level One. You can shoot so many fucking projectiles and chip damage him that you don't have to just be one sided, you know? Look, look, when, it, when is he not doing a combo, you know? Every time I swing, he's doing something and, I can, uh, and he hits me. I can't get a hit in there if he does, if does a shield. I think you have to just deal with these type of individuals with long range. No, I'm serious. I mean, it's a trap. 
they force you to get in there with a melee like I'm doing and he's basically a melee defensive NPC there was there, was there a counter for this motherfucker look the minute I swing he swings like there's no and then if I chug the input of, of, of the game tells him to swing look now he rushes me when I chug look I'm gonna do it again look 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 I told you look 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 at this you have to, you have to chug look this just kill me dude see you saw that I would it wasn't even a defensive chug and it still attacks you how do you overcome that every time you, you chug when you press when you press swinging he attacks like he attacks when you attack how do you actually uh, what's the formula for, for cheap shit like that it's just you know what it is just don't get hit and run away and have some versatility like this guy right here he's meant Oh, what the fuck is that reach? Look, he's gonna know he's. I'm gonna stay away from him. There he comes. Okay, so I can just repeat that. It's a bit, bit of hit. It doesn't hit me, you know. Good. Uh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it seems. It seems like. Like I always roll, always roll out, and 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 that's where where the game fucks you. And everybody knows it's just roll in. It's a habit I have to get out of, you know. So what I'm trying to do is stay away from him so that I can hit him. I don't want to get hit by any stupid shit. Try to stay away from him. So I ain't got no souls anymore. I'm trying to just bait him into swing. What the fuck, man? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? He went to a second phase. What? Oh, I don't have any more charge attacks. What kind of bullshit is that? Flying with heavy armor? <sighs> you need a lot of FP, man. A lot of fucking FP, dude. Oh fuck me dude, look who this one is over here. Oh fuck me dude.
train three in. I was uh, I was watching a YouTube video. The guy said, "Oh, now you have six and three. Fucking lying ass piece of shit." Yeah, fucking flasks. You know he goes, "Oh my god, how the hell you get up there, dude? You have to go through here and then, but you have to be up there." very difficult to figure things out in this game how to get there especially when you're like I think it just made it worse you know because now you have to run everywhere and the thing of Dark Souls is you didn't want to run <laughs> now you gotta deal with this bullshit I'm running everywhere how the hell do you get up there, dude? So clearly, 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 what I'm saying is you, you clearly don't have what it takes <coughs> To uh, to defeat any of these low-level fucking enemies, I'm trying to use this great sword so that I could just like max out strength without getting the upgrade materials. That's just the way I roll, because I mean, I know for a fact that once I get the upgrade materials. I'm going to destroy these enemies so it's I'm trying to get into the farming spot so I have to defeat both both of the starting enemies of this game in order to get the quest for the PvP and then you can get to the farming spot and you can unlock all the bells and stuff to get instead of farming just unlock all the bells and farm that's the key for this game you want to get OP real fast you uh, try to defeat the first boss, like the first boss in the game. <laughs> try to defeat the first boss in the game. And then the second boss, and then you get the PvP. That's your key. See, the, the Miyazaki didn't realize that, that there's a farming spot at a certain location when you go into the PvP area. And all you have to do is two invasions. Look. He <laughs> he I can't even get a fucking sword in edgewise. <clears throat> he has too much poise. Like you have to have versatility in this game if I mean what do I dodge everything and hit him? Like certain challenge runners? Like learn how to dodge? Jump attack, he's gonna avoid his jump attack. Look at that. Look at that. Even when I try to get beat roll, he has an answer for like a sw roundhouse swing. So 
So the thing is, if you want to be a melee build, I mean, the, these type of builds has low range guts build. It's garbage. I'm not garbage, dude. Look at how the game is treating players. It's supposed to be very, what, punishing? It's, it's frustrating. I mean, I have a... Forces you to get good, right? So you're telling me that this weapon doing 327 isn't worth this first area? And my stats is 41 and almost 50 with a plus 5. It's worthless. <laughs> the game is very cheap, dude. It's very, it's very cheap and is niche content, like. I'm doing decent damage, I just can't get in there. His defense is too good. I'm trying to. Look, he disrupts me. Bring it, fucking asshole. You wanna do that every time? Stamina. And of course, I didn't equip the flask. Fuck. Dead. Why? Why? Calm the fuck on, dude. I mean, my stupid ass didn't equip the flask, man. mistake like that is very crucial man and then the menu is actually garbage that we have to go three spots I'm sorry one you have to go all the way down here for shit oh it's really I have three magic, huh? You can't summon for this fight either, it's like a 1v1. Oh, yep. What's uh how well, how's everybody doing today? That's good, I'm glad to hear. 360. <clears throat> if I could get in there with some decent fucking damage. Different hit. 366. Calm the fuck on, dude. Just trying to get away from you, dude. Uh, what the fuck are you? <clears throat> You don't understand. Speedrunners, what they want to do is just kill enemies as quickly and efficiently as possible because they have a timer behind them. They're trying to finish the game as quickly as possible, which is a speedrun. I like speedruns because they look, they find the most quickest and optimal way to kill an enemy. Which, which, I don't speedrun, but I would prefer to know to know exactly how to kill an enemy quick. Like I don't want to. I'm not here to be fighting this guy this long. I just want to kill him. So obviously something is not right, and I don't want to dodge. See, see how he he, he blocks me. He disrupts my 
my my hyper armor attack it I can't do it to him that's not right you know I don't think it's really fair for the player for the game to do that like it gives the the game an artificial difficulty <clears throat> which is pretty cheesy because how come I can't how come he could and I can't that's just the way it is you know like like if I if I dodge why am I gonna get a hit in so now he got his shield I mean then on the arena the arena takes me away like, well look how far I am in the arena I just want to get a good fight, you know. These bosses are meant to destroy you. The fact of the matter is I'm doing 377 damage. Lobos Jr. was doing 400 max on his soul level 1. So there's really no excuse why I shouldn't be able to kill this guy. there isn't but he has answers for close range so you have to be long range for this guy but the thing is Lobos Jr. look at he blocks it for 33% defense this weapon art is pretty cheeky dude You know, the weapon art is, is pretty bad. I mean, you're fighting him legit, right? And then he pops out with with some ground attacks. That's some fucking Kinez Vamler shit, you know? You gotta jump it? Fuck you. So obviously, this guy right here, he's too defensive again. And for, for a strength build, you just have to dodge. Can't even get a fucking with even with this weapon. You can't even get any. It's good damage, but he disrupts you. He disrupts you, and then that that's really bad. So so you see how the damage the damage output that he's doing. You have to make a sacrifice. You have to tell yourself, well, what do I put points at? See, right now what I'm doing is a cheese. It's, uh, I'm trying to get to 50 strength. I don't know what the hard cap is, but I'm trying to get to 50 faith. 50 strength, I'm sorry. 50 strength and then just put, just dump everything in vigor. Because 50 is a, is a good place to stop at strength. I heard it was 80, but I'm not going that fucking high. I'm doing 50 strength and then I'm just gonna put poison bigger with this weapon and that's what's gonna enable me to be super OP. <clears throat> because in essence, I'm just trying to use the spike club with poison at 50, uh, 50 strength. Because it scales with uh, Arc Arcane too. <clears throat> I think because it's poisoned. <clears throat> it requires 12 strength. You could two hand this weapon. It's all over one. The spike club. Not not one handed, but two handed. Alright, so basically, I did Uriah's quest. I'm not trying to fight people. That's for later. So, I need to defeat. This boss right here, Margit. I need to defeat Margit, but I don't want to be in there. So, the first bell. You, get, you need the bells, honestly. And they go to a farming spot that I know. And I think, I, I think the, the, the key here, the key here is to go to the first farming spot. Is that you're talking about? Here, I'll show you. Is this a farming spot? I was doing some investigative reporting because I know how 
of this game could be I could just like right now like this box right here my HP is really low his move said counters the uh, straight weapon counters the straight weapon so really there's no counter for him other than if you like know how to dodge really good but I'm not trying to do that he doesn't give me a word in edgewise okay so I'm going to look for Elder Ring Bells Bill bearing, uh, bell bearing. It's a twin maiden husk. What are these bell bearings? No. <laughs> I'm looking for what are those bells, those smithing bells? Fuck, it went to some stupid shit. I don't know what this pitiless bell bearing is. I don't even want to say what bell bearing is. Found it, eh, Sylvia's? Oh, fuck, dude. It's, it's just telling me some stupid shit. Smithing bell. Fuck. I don't know what they're called, man. That's why I was put them in the extra life. Bell bearing. How to find every bell bearing? Smithy stone bell bearing. Okay, so this is bearing one, yeah, bearing number one. Yeah, I just won. Where is it located? It's been some bell bearing found in the final location dropped by sitting boss in the Royal Lucuria, Royal Lucaria Crystal Tunnel, Royal Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. All right, so you're telling me. That I need to go here. Somehow get my ass down here. Run my ass over there. And get that bell. Follow the water all the way. Follow the water here, go to the wall, make a left, and I have to defeat those bosses, right? And they only take damage to uh, strike attacks, correct? Once you once you start having a uh, more HP the game is easy right now it's hard for me because I'm just going to 50 50 oh my goodness how the fuck did I end up up here I'm just going 50 strength I could actually farm for health for for um, levels
what I usually like to do is, is find the maximum maximum for everything, like for every weapon. Like there's a 60 uh, strength weapon. So take your your take your uh, strength to 60, or the point where you could two hand it at least. Oh my goodness, what? Ooh, why? Oh, what are you doing? Give me the fucking map. This is the only way to get, get the map, dude. Literally, the most cheapest fucking way to get out of a map. Look, put, give us a fucking mini map on the fucking screen, dude. When you're when you're on the map, even if you can aggro, you can still see where you're going. No, no, I like that. Wait, you're a fucking masochist. You're a fucking masochist, dude. Feet. Pickles foul feet. That's the war horn. Get ready to go. Fucking war horn. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's where you get the squirts. Okay, look, I need to get the fuck. See, I'm trying to see the map. I'm trying to see the map so that I could actually see where it is. And I have to quit out. You see what I'm saying? Just because they aggro. I think they need to eliminate that, you know? Honestly, I really do. You don't need to not be able to open to the map. You're still... It's like you're menuing, you know? They're chasing you regardless. So, so the squirts are basically... East of this of the carrying study hall. Nice. You know what? Let's go get. Oh, now I'm fucking. See, now I can't get into it. Again. How far do you have to be away from being an aggro, dude? Let's go get the the map for this area. What I'm trying to do with Elden Ring, I don't, I don't want Elden Ring to like destroy me when I lay game. There's this boss at Soul Level One that's uh, extremely difficult. It's called uh, Commander Neo, and I had seen a lot of cheese and everything. And then at certain point, you have to like dodge him. At certain point you have to dodge him, man. And it was pretty bad dodging him. Where is that fucking thing, dude? It says it's here. The game is meant to be difficult look man I'm trying to find the obelisk it's right fucking close to the bonfire dude okay so I already got that cool I could get the key for uh, I could get the key for for the what you would call it, right? I guess we play we play the game to have knowledge of it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into like the 
the challenge of Dark Souls. Like the PVE, the just the aggravation of how it's um, insuffer insufferable the game could be. Like people put the goats. I don't like to be punished like that. What I, what I like to do is like I like to get in there, find what's most effective. Like clearly, I I didn't know that. If you're a certain type of build, it gives you with certain things. So you need to have some versatility, like some range, you know, some min max range stuff, you know, like solo solo one. You can use a lot of things, and I already investigated it. So I have that knowledge in my head. I could use a lot of things at my disposal to give me range. Like a spell. I haven't gotten the the, the staff that uh that a celebrity one could use. Oh I have to go down this area here. Kill a Debbie Demi Shifton. Demi Shifton. Obviously you can't go through there. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to find a cave here, boss, because the first bell. I think the key the key things to get in this game are the bells. Cause once you have the bells you could farm. So there's a cave here somewhere. And finding these caves are our bitch. Look, I already passed it. Like, where is the cave? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to. Um, every everything that everything that that I do, it leads to the to the bells. Because once you get the first and second bell, if you can get the bells as quickly, I got the bells really quick. I got my soul level one to plus eighteen. That's all I really wanted to know. You have to be defeat some certain bosses and stuff, you know. But it's pretty easy to get to the. To plus 18 really really quick so in other words you could get really OP I mean if you're playing casual and you're leveling up if I could do it in solo level 1 then then obviously you could do it with a lot of HP like considering I knew that I just decided to go 50 strength because because all I needed is the fucking bells and then I'll do fucking massive damage but I'm also uh, starting to put points in vigor because I'm not trying to struggle but the problem is, here is supposed to be a cave, Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. So it's right here next to this bridge. Evidently there's something here. Evidently there's a shield there. Oh, there's a guy sitting in the chair there. Let me see this. I hate when they put the the thing on the wiki. It's right there, dude. It's the, it's the bridge. It's this, and then it's just like. Don't tell me this is it. 
They covered it with the fucking dumbass. It's going to three. The, it, might, it seems like the, the game. It, 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 I mean, it's a good. What am I saying? The game it, it, intentionally makes it extremely difficult for you in the beginning. It's hard for you to get good if you don't know what you're doing. So if you're playing it blind, you're just gonna wander aimlessly, dude. Aimlessly, man. Oh no, it was those. Those are stupid chaos fucks. Stay away from that motherfucker. So basically you have to run all the way here. Hopefully I could defeat him because the, the enemies, they're, see I'm plus, uh, plus five, right? And I, I, I need the second one as well. That's the key, you know? The key is to have an upgraded weapon ASAP. You want to go look for, for stones, farm for stones. You can get them very easily in certain locations. Which will get you up to where I'm at. Plus four, basically. Everybody already has has established that it's four. But I got some other ones. So these guys, I want to know the damage. Fifty fucking four. It's three hits. Unbelievable. This is doing standard. Fuck me in the ass. It's doing fucking standard, yo. I think he used those. See the enemy, the enemy in this game, those, uh, the boss in this game, you have to have to, you have to have like, some kind of like strike. Seventy-eight damage, that's, that's not even right, dude. That's not fucking right, man. How can it be with this weapon? How? It's making stones too. I think I could. I could get. I'll upgrade my weapon again. Look, 78 damage with a fucking great sword. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Luckily, uh, with 50 strength, I'll be able to use other weapons. I might need some buffs here or something. Maybe make this heavy. I can change the attack though. Like this is a standard weapon. And I don't know what standard means in comparison to other weapons. Mage. 
You fucking piece of shit. Hello. Sorry. I failed you. I failed you completely, Mr. Mage. Digital Turbo. You look like a friend of mine. You look like Bernese Jones's color. Can't fool me. <laughs> it did. What happened to you, Bernese Jones? Why come you're not streaming anymore? Hopefully, the internet didn't make you go mad like it made me. People were asking me, what happened to you? Nothing happened to me. You think I'm here to to entertain you. I'm here for my own personal entertainment. Did you add it or subtracted anything that I'm doing here? Oh, no. I'm dead. I didn't see him. Oh, man. I wanted to learn how to be a streamer and it takes money. So I, I got a job and I, I frugally Frugally, is that a word? Like I, I found bargains on like used stuff from gamers and I made a uh, 2017 PC. An i7 8700K, which I could overclock it. It has 12 cores. Six six cores, 12 threads. And then my gaming, P my streaming PC has eight cores. 8 core 16 threads. It's a Ryzen 3800X. So I could do the old flip ruin shit. Like I could switch my i7 to to be my streaming PC and it will do perfectly at 1080p, 60fps. But I'm not here or there. My 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 i7 8700K and my 2080 for the Win 3 could do just fine. And then I started I started working on resolution like my 2080 and the i7 k I could do uh, 4K 60 FPS with like tweak settings. So I got tired of tweaking. <laughs> no pun intended, tweaking. I got tired of tweaking settings, tweak, tweak set, and then I ended up, um, I ended up going back to a two, two 1080p, 240 hertz. I figured, hey, if it's gonna be 1080p, it's gonna have to be. That's gonna have to be uh, 240 hertz, but FromSoft games are locked at 60. But you know what's what's the payoff? Uh, ultra resolution. And 10, I know 1080p looks like garbage when you, you go from 4K. When you go from 4K to 1080p, it looks like utter shit. But in reality, once uh, once you stay away from like higher resolutions, and you work on ops, a daisy. I'm playing 720. It looks 360 on or PS3. <laughs> dude, I'm a humble guy, dude. I'm a humble guy. You should have been here when I first started streaming, dude. 30 FPS, prepare to die edition. We used to play at 15 FPS. We didn't give a fuck. I remember uh, Fisto the Defiler when he jumped on PC. Everybody was trying to uh, help him with the with why the fact he was getting 15 FPS. Welcome to the club. Prepare to die edition. DS fix. <laughs> that was hilarious. They're like, why am I getting 15 FPS? And it was random too. Like one day my my PC would get 15 FPS and the next day it wouldn't. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> good good times, dude. So don't worry, dude. I ended up my first gaming uh, graphics card was like a 550. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is now. 550 fucking GTA some shit GTX. And uh, that's how I streamed Dark Souls, dude. It was fucking 30 FPS, 720p, but yeah, but I don't even know, dude. But yeah, dude. So I kind of did a lot of testing. I learned. I not like 720 PS3 by the way, 360, it's fine. I was gonna get an NEC uh I think was it like a 44 a 16 by 9 
a flat TV, but it was one of those professional ones that they have like in offices for meetings. Have you seen them? Those big NEC thick fucker ones. They're like five inches thick, you know? Maybe this one was like three and a half. They're like huge, heavy motherfuckers. And it was, and I looked at the resolution. It was 720p, bro. I was like, I didn't pull the trigger on it. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice. If it was a 1080p, I would have took it. It was a great 720p. Uh, 720p. Yeah, dude. So basically, you know, I'm thinking, I'm trying to break the code for Elden Ring. I did a soul level one and I got to a point where I couldn't be commander Commander O'Neill, have you heard of him? He's a real tryhard killer, I'll tell you that much. So, um, Commander O'Neill over there in the snowy area, I recommend you give him a shot. Give pay him a visit. He is a great host. No, really, go pay him a visit. And uh And basically I said, Okay, alright, I'm done. Nah, I don't know them. You don't you don't know Commander O'Neill? You gotta, gotta pay him a visit, bruh. Okay, I'm dead. My stamina. Oh, luckily he didn't shoot. So, I, I learned that you need the... You need the bells. You need the bells. The, the bells for the merchants for so that you could... This is the first area where you get the bell. So the the round table merchant, the double headed merchant, double headed merchant lady, you give her the bells, the smithing bells, and you could actually have a I have a good farming spot. I'll show it to you really quick. It's right here on the bridge, right here. I believe it's right here somewhere. And then you, you well, yeah, well it's over here. Right here in this area, so it's a, it gives you, let's just say 2,000, 1,935. So it gives you like a good 2,000 souls. So I have I found the farming spot really quick. Now if I get the bells, give the bells to the lady, she's able to sell upgrade materials. I farm for them. I upgrade this weapon a little bit more. I'm doing the old put points index, put, put points first. I'm doing, uh, put it this way, it's a meme. If you're an experienced Souls player, you know for a fact that you have to upgrade your weapons to do more damage. Don't invest points in any stat. You've heard that before, right? So what I'm doing is because I'm such a good player, I'm thinking, okay, well, I just need the upgrade materials. So what I'm doing is I'm putting strength all the way up to 50 and then getting the upgrade materials. And then it, the damage, the 237 is probably going to shoot up to like 600 and shit. Hey. It, it's kind of like a challenge run in a way because you know we're so good at playing this game that we don't we, we, we could actually invest points in stats yo yo what's happening here so that's what I'm doing right now because uh, I'm done with my soul level one I stopped at commander O'Neill over there in the snowy area should pay him a visit I really should pay him a visit he's really such a nice guy Great hospitality. He's gonna tear your ass up, I'll tell you that much. He's gonna tear your ass up. He tore my ass a lot. He he stopped my ass a lot. Ass one run. I don't I don't I don't want to invest in uh, in challenge runs like that. I'm not a Lobos Junior. Plus, I want to get into some PVP eventually, but I can't I can't do that when I'm stuck in O'Neill. I just be Kaylid. To do Atlas now. You mean like the area? There's an Atlas cave where you get another bill, I think. I was trying to master the code for this game. Oh, so you're going by area? That's really cool. Kaylid is extremely tough. I hate Kaylid. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like the the the, the, the grungy red disgustingness. That's not even what is truth on one red. That's like disgusting chaos flame red. I like Limgrave. I like this whole area. I just don't like Kaelid. Oh, and also I'm trying to do the, the quest of, um, like, for example, confirmed you have to kill Margit and uh, what's the one over here? 
the one inside where they uses the dragon the grafted one so it's just those two dudes and then you, there's a, uh, a lake right here there's a church of the rose I think it's this one I don't know I have to look it up again where the guy gives you the ability to invade three times I'm playing offline right now because I, I, I got tired of the trolls I have to beat the fucking rot dragon still dude I don't even know like I've been stuck on soul level one this is my first playthrough actually I just made it to Captain O'Neill and I got I got my weapon up to plus 18 so I can tell you right now dude if you can find a good farming spot for seven and eight you're not going to be able to go past 18 yeah I, I kind of got the code for the game can I beat this lady with uh, this crystal lady with a standard weapon nope <laughs> It requires strike. It requires strike, sir. But can I do it with the standard? Look at the fucking cheap ass damage, bro. Oh my goodness, look at that. Hell yeah. Get fucked, bitch. You staggered again, you fucking hoe, and you're dead. <laughs> There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Smithing Stone Miners' Bell. And then you just get the fuck out of here. Easy, bro. Look, not even... I, I, I kind of got the upgraded weapons, you know, the, the, the materials that you could get early on. They're in caves and whatnot and certain uh, getting overpowered as quickly as possible. Just simple old beginning strats, let's say. It, technically... If you follow the beginning strats, you get a plus four. Well, of course, I found the extra one, so I got it to plus five. And uh, and I'm sure I could get it to plus six right now. Let's go. Let's go. Can, can we get the hell out of here? We can. We can get the fuck out of here. That's amazing. That's a cave, and we could get out of there. So I, 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 I basically what I've learned doing my SL1 run, I could see what you could do very early on. You could have a real OP soul level one variety mage incantations, dexterity. It's really good. Soul level one in this game is extremely versatile. Highly recommend you do it, but not for the challenge. I, I don't have it in me anymore. I do it just so that I could have understanding of early game stuff so i can make a build wow. uh oh wow. uh oh oh uh oh can you upgrade my weapon but do i have enough for one let me see i need six out of three so i just need to buy three give her the bell and we should be good now where's the second one I recommend you get the first bell and the second bell. Just Google it. Where is it? And I'm going to Google it right now. Where's the second one? Not purchase. Offer the bell. Now she sells one and twos. And which ones did I need? I have 17. I think I needed the twos. Yep. I needed it. I need it. And there we go. I have six. So now I need to get up to 12, right? It's six, four, twelve. Oh, okay. Well, that's a rip. Eight. Do I have any souls with me? I don't have any souls, bro. Why? I can't even upgrade my weapon either because because I I bought. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need 4. We need to get to that grinding spot. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's the, that's the key. To get OP in the beginning. So you don't have to struggle with anything. And I'm also trying to do the... The, the Bloodfingers PvP quest line. So that I could go into the... That bloody area. And there's a great farming spot there for sure. If they don't patch it. So the next bell, the second one, second one 
is located Smithy Stone 2. Smithy Stone 2 upgrade is dropped by a specific enemy or boss. Location. Where to find Smithy Stone 2 Elden Ring allocation guide? The second one, bro. The second one. Give me the second one. Locations and Elden Ring. Oh my goodness. Fucking wiki fixed their life, you fuck. Just tell me where to get the second one, you fuck. Storm here found together. Limb grave. What the fuck is this, dude? Using a simple a smithing stool. Oh my goodness, dude. This fucking this wiki is fucking garbage, man. Okay, give me the fucking stone, the stone, the second one, you fucking bitch. It, it's stuck on the first one, bro. It's stuck on the first one, bro. It's like, come on, dude. There's a lot of clickbait by articles. I get, like, dude, it needs, I just give me the fucking, uh, the bell fucking shit like look at this you see this look at this you see that okay this is bell bearings right all right give me this what is this twin meeting house shop unlocks <laughs> okay oh my goodness dude all I want is the smithing bells, dude. This even says it right here. Look, smithing bells. Why? Why is why every time if Bing always pops up? Bing. Smithing bells. Two. Just it, it shouldn't be this hard, dude. You know what I mean? It just shouldn't. What the fuck? No healthy upstream. What the fuck was that? Here. Here it is. Look, look at this. This is the wiki. This is what I wanted, dude. Why do I have to go to Google? Why can't I just... just I pressed the, the smithing bells and it was doing some stupid shit. Found in a chest at the first secret era inside sealed tunnel. S Secret era seal tunnel. Oh my goodness. No fucking way Okay, dude, this is what I'm trying to tell you here, dude You see right there So the, so the question is this is where you're fucked as a as an Elden, Elden Ring player as a Dark Souls player So you could buy only fucking limited amounts So what the fuck are you gonna do? So what the fuck are you gonna do? You're gonna go to the farming spot right now. So see, that's where you gotta go. It's it's basically it's basically you have to get the two tablets. The two tablets, you have to get these two tablets in your inventory. Let me show them to you. Let me see if I have them. Here. You have to get these two tablets. The Dectus medallion, left and right. And you get them from uh, from Fort Fort Ferreth and Fort Height. Just run and get them. You don't have to fight anybody. Just get them. Get them, and then run your ass to the to the elevator. You know how to run your ass to the elevator, do you? It's easy. You somehow you have to come here. Speedrunners know how to get there really quick. What I found, I found this drop right here. You can see it. I don't know if they show it in the map. There's just like these droppage pillars thingies. But it's really hard to go 
through this area, you know? It's fucking really, really canyon y. You drop here, drop your ass down here, shoom. Hit a bonfire that's around here, run your ass over here. Boom, you're up there, and then like the map where it showed, you run on the right side of Linden. There's a little cave there, you get your ass in there. You get that second fucking bell. Take it back to the bitch at the round table. Now you got one, two, three, and four. You could do that shit easy, man. Two tablets. Get your ass to the to the plateau. Boom. And then come over here to the to the crystal cave to get the first one. If you want to. And then the second one's over there. So now you got one, two, three, four. Easy. So the grinding spot is right here. So I'm gonna go to this bonfire here and try to head on over there to that grinding spot. Get a little two thousands every run. Every run and that's that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Easy fucking Elden Ring. It just takes you a little while to get uh up there, you know. I believe this this is a very slow process. And it's really difficult. At first, but I think that's the key, and then, and then defeat only two bosses, Margit, and then that grafted guy, and then the, the that stupid mannequin-looking guy goes to a blood church, and then he gives you the shit so that you could you could invade three players. So you go online. You go online and then you invade. Taking your time with the game, mostly with work and stuff. Me too. I just been doing. A, I've been playing it a lot for the, when it first came out. Like this is the first time I actually am putting points in stats. One guy know I played Elden Ring 62 out of 64 hours on release. I know. I feel that, dude. I I, I should show you how many hours I've got in this game. Okay, so I'm stupid. It's going to be a boss here, isn't there? How do I get Minor Earth Tree? How do I get to that tower? See, right here, there's a... Uh... Fucking shit, dude. I'm so stupid. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna load my my SL one OP build. I'm gonna load, I'm gonna show you my soul level one build. This guy's my scout. He fucking researched the whole game for me, bro. I have 124 hours, bro. See that on top? 124 hours since I stopped. That's how much I've been playing with my soul level 1. 124 hours confirmed. <laughs> and I'm do I'm doing setups prep prep work right now here. Oh my goodness, this is my old friend. What's his name? <laughs> this is This is where Captain O'Neill is. Pay him a visit. I recommend it. I recommend you pay him a visit. He's in Castle Soul. He's in Castle Soul, and this is what I did. My Soul Level One fucking was fucking killing it, dude. He killed the bitch over here, the fucking mage bitch. He even get a, he got into fucking uh, he got into Lendell. Kill what's his name? Got the two um seals because you have to kill this guy over here. To get to the snowy area. Did that. And then this fucker right over here. Captain O'Neill. Captain O'Neill. Let me show you my friend. This is this is him trying to fight Captain O'Neill. I'll give you a little taste of uh, who Captain O'Neill is. Commander O'Neill. Just because I didn't beat him doesn't mean that, that I'm, I'm not going to beat him one day. It just means that I stopped. Wow, yeah, I still have to beat the the capital. The capital area is fucked, dude. That's the hardest area for me, dude. At soul level one, enemies like one shot me. I, 
I got this this hat from one guy. The Omen Smirk Mask. It gives you uh, two points in strength. I got so many things. It's amazing. Also, you could actually wield. Uh, these are my weapons that I got. I, I could. Uh, I could wield a katana. I could. I could. Two hand the, the weapon that I'm using right now. C plus eighteen. So that ones could use. I could use this weapon two handed. It's fire weapon. I could. I'm trying to get. 20 arcane but i can't progress the, the item that i need to have 20 arcane and soul level one it's after beating mr my dear friend mr commander o'neill so i figured i'd just stop there you know i did too much this is my dexterity build also i have the wakasashi up to 18 as you can see all my weapons up to 18 because that's as far as i could take them i didn't have did an upgrade that one this one's 18 now this was the first experimental weapon. I could use this one two-handed. Um, I decided this is gonna be my main weapon. I have it all the way up to 19 because I had some sevens. And look at that, 89 poison. This is my main with uh, with the great knife, the highest uh, level weapons I have, 19 because that's my main. I decided to go with uh, with that. Let me show you. Oops, a daisy. Yeah, Poison Spike Club. Where you get that? Uh, well, I imbued it with uh, poison. Did I did I put it backwards? Fucking idiot. I'm just showing my showing you my main. My soul level one is taking a vacation, by the way. There we go. How did I flip it from this one over here? Weird, huh? Did that just happen? Or did I move the knife down there? <laughs> Who knows? So this is uh this is a. Uh, HP regen sword and then this is the pulley this is the pulley this is the best pulley in the game crossbow shoots three of them at the same time and uh, this is the spike club where I get it from we'll talk or use base base tool get some HP regen in there I got him from um, the best farming spot I have it imbued. You have to farm for these weapons. This is my main. I don't know what to do with the knife though, but I love it. Uh, the starter class starts with the knife, the bandit. But you have to farm for them right over here. I tried, there's a farming spot for them here. On the Fort Height West, there's a chieftain right here. You can't miss him. He's the only one with the club. I farmed him for like maybe four or five hours. No drop. No drop. You could try it. Let me know if you get it first drop. RNG. But don't. Re I don't recommend. So there was this other spot that they said. It's so way over fucking here. It's called Hermit. Hermit Cave. How the fuck is Hermit Cave? Hermit Cave? Where are you? Where, where? Her, hermit, hermit, hermit. Oh, hermit village. Yeah, I went there. Do not recommend this area. Fucking, they one shot you. You're not gonna farm for shit there. <laughs> so where did I get it from? Well, the most easiest location ever. Lakeside Crystal Cave. It's really good at low levels because it poisons really fast. So I'm, I'm thinking that as a main, my main build, I'm going to, at people with higher HP pools, I'm going to poison them and just walk away as a meme. I just haven't found my fashion. This is just for mat stat manipulation. It gives me uh, two points in, in faith so I could cast bestial vitality. So yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't defeat Commander O'Neill. Hope you don't judge me so harshly. I just, uh, I'm, I'm not so good. I'm, I'm washed out. Washed out player. So this guy right here, he drops the knife. This guy drops the knife. See, he has it, but you can't see it anymore. And then the Chieftain is over here just chilling. It's really weak though. 
Because I don't have any strength, but I'm gonna max it out. This one, this bitch drops the knife. This one right here. This one right here drops it. I know this cave. So don't listen to the internet. Don't go to the Hermit Village and uh, the one by the Fort Hyatt. It's the drop is just too bad. Plus right here you could get both the knife and the, the club. That's the only way you could get these weapons. Unless you started with the bandit knife. Bandit. You get the bandit knife straight up. And this is my main. I decided to do this as a try hard killer build. I just got to find my fashion. And I'm going to try to PvP with this and kill tryhards because, you know, these tryhards, they use everything that's good. They one-shot you with the katanas, with the river of blood. But it's all right, you know. PvP is a different beast. But that's that's my soul level one. Um, he uh, just cannot defeat Commander O'Neill. <laughs> Pay him a visit. T t tell him I sent you. I'm sure he'll treat you very well. He has great hospitality, by the way. Do you want to see him? I'll show it to him. Oh, did I go up there? I'll show you a little bit about how difficult he is at soul level one. There's certain cheeses that you could do. Okay, well, I didn't fucking activate it. The key. Why did I do that? Now I have to activate it normally. I don't know. I don't know. You're you're doing uh, everything at, at uh, the area, right? That's what I'm gonna do on my on that guts build that I'm doing. Yeah, just go to that cave. I mean, it's easy for they're not. It's not a good weapon, dude. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a fucking B B. What's that? C E tier weapon. So he summons two spirits. You have to kill him, kill them, and and they're weak to blood. They got range up the ass. I've been using large level the entire game. Oh, is that right? And of course, you know, his friend always bothers me. So you have to kill them. Then he goes into uh, his O'Neill, Captain Nails, Commander OP Nails. And then, and then, yeah, you have to deal with that. So that's where I stopped at my soul level one. And also you could have um how many can you have? Well that cheese dude. That guy's hilarious. He's a fucking asshole. Also I could I could do stat manipulate manipulation. I could do stat manipulation with uh with the strength talismans and the intelligent talisman is really tricky to get. You need to because I wanted to do uh, an intelligence and like max out my intelligence. But unfortunately, you would have to do some weird ass quest line that involves, I believe, this tower. Where is it? Is it this tower? No, it's not that tower. It's a tower just over here. What the fuck? How do you just forget things? It's, it's the inverted tower. Is it this one? <laughs> That's fucking weird. It creeps me out, dude. How, how, how I, I know what I'm looking for. And I believe it's, for some particular reason, I think it's this. But it's not. It's the tower. It's in the lake. Let me see. Because I'm over here tripping hard, dude. Ah, here it is. Thank you. Dude, I was losing it right there because it looked the same. So this tower here, on top of here, is the talisman of the intelligence but you have to invert the the tower and the only way to do that is do some quest line with Yura and some weird shit as long as you have the the little medallion thing that inverts the tower then you could actually access that but you have to go through some little mini quest shit that uh, I'm not gonna deal with it right now 
But once I figured it out, I'm like, okay, so that's how you get that. I can't get that right now. And what what was the hay ha hay leg tree? Once you get to the hay leg tree, see you need. Let me show you my inventory. There's a little quest line that shows these tablets. So I, I, these are the three bosses that I killed only to get here. These are all on the also the old king Godfrey. The spirit Godfrey. I have all these smithing stones here. I have all these items and shit. Spells. I could use a lot of spells and shit. So level one. Got the look at that, dude. Power within and shit. I could use power within. Poison mist is really good. You could cheese enemies if you get behind them they won't even notice you just a pro tip i've noticed that i saw level one really op it takes a little while make sure you have like maybe five flasks six flasks and you could cheese bosses like that or enemies and stuff depending if you could get behind them without them noticing 16 arcane and here are my uh my weapon arts i duplicated for i duplicated this <laughs> weapons are a variety of stuff I got the rivers of blood but I, I'm thinking if I could get 20 arcane by manipulation stats I'll be able to uh, use it and kill bosses better but the only way to get it is to beat O'Neal O'Neal is stopping me from reaching the area where I could get more stuff for my soul level 1 uh, I got the I got the pulley bow and this one right here up to plus six best bow in the game crossbow in the game also I was speaking to a magician streamer and he said this this is a plus 14 staff that you could pick up early on in the game but you have to invest 18 points in intelligence and and, and we kind of like talked about it so I want to go get this one but it, it's weird though because it requires 10 intelligence, right? Right, it requires... Glintstone staff requires 10 intelligence. And then this one requires 24. It's a carrying Glintstone staff, right? So I told him, I said, well, it's a plus 14, right? The meteorite, yes. That's the, the twin staff, the twink staff. It is the twink staff. So Because you have to put 18 points. It's not a soul level 1 staff, I told him. As this is a soul level one, and he's a he's a master mage. He's a streamer. He's also my moderator on my on my chat. Smokey, prepare to die edition. Dark Souls one guy, great fucking mage, and I'm also a mage in my own right. And uh, I told him, I said, yeah, it's a good, it's good, it's a good thing to get. He told me that this this demi human queen staff out damages at pl plus fourteen. To this one so if you get a plus 14 like a plus 15 a plus 14 is basically this is a plus 14 confirmed from a from a mage that this does more damage than this one non upgraded because you can't upgrade it at plus 14 or plus 15 but he said 14 that it out damages the meteorite at uh, over plus 14 so I'm assuming plus 15 so I'm guessing that this is a plus 14 14 staff but but this one has less requirement this one is an S scaling and it's intelligence 10 so this is this is a soul level 1 staff and just get it to plus 14 and it'll do the same as the meteorite staff that requires 18 intelligence. So I want to show you something very peculiar. You see this uh, glintstone staff? It's uh, 24 intelligence, right? You see this one right here? It's 10, right? So I could use this one. But I ended up getting this one. But where do you get this one? Remember, keep this one in mind. I'm going back to the other, the other. 
I'm going back to the other one. The glintstone staff. Keep that in mind. I'm going to show you something. I did something and I, and I didn't realize my mistake. Because I, I was under the impression that that glintstone staff was 6 and 10. Stat requirements. Sixth and ten. You see this this one this character is called Spike Club, even though he's using the, the guts. That's because he's gonna transfer the, the fifty strength to the spike club. So I'm, I'm what I'm doing, I'm investigating how much damage I could get with the spike club at fifty uh fifty uh, strength. And this this is just a preparation for that later. Spike club build. That's why I have it in my inventory and it's already poisoned and I also farmed for the for the gray knife it's all preparation my friend this is not this is going to be a build but it's it's working toward the spike club build with 50 50 strength so I'm trying to get the upgrade material so that I could get to that build but that's not here or there we're here now so what I wanted to show you was this ladies and gentlemen so you notice that I have a uh, a glintstone staff it's a carrying glintstone staff. I don't know where to get a glintstone staff. Like early on. I could get the demi-human staff. But I have to kill a, an enemy. Which I can very easily. But I was thinking to myself. What if I don't want to kill an enemy. Where would I get a small little glintstone staff. That only requires. What was it like. 10 intelligence. I have 10 intelligence. Without it being a carrying glintstone staff. I haven't been able to find one. I don't know where I found them. Say I don't want to kill the boss. I just want to get a glintstone staff. To cast spells. Where would I get one? Dude I gotta get to the other side. There's a tower. There's a tower bro. There's a tower. This is the grinding spot, bro, but how do I get over there? I, I gotta come back over here and then run back. I'm trying to hit the grinding spot, bro. Maybe a merchant? I don't know. Um, I'm asking chat right now because I'm gonna Google it now because I'm curious. As you can see, I already have, I could get the demi-human staff easily. That's the one to get. But you have to kill a boss. My, my, I'm la my lazy ass is just inquiring if if I could just find it somewhere, you know, find it easy staff ASAP without killing the demi human uh, big mini boss. It's not a boss, it's just an area in a big one of those big, big ass fucking. I don't know how to tell you, I don't know what, where they are. It's not a demi human shit place. Maybe I'll look for it. I thought it was gonna be easy, it's hard to find a, uh, a regular glintstone staff. An Elden Ring. You have to kill the demi human mini boss in order for you to fucking have have the best staff up to plus fourteen. Well those staff requirements. Look dude, you what am I trying to find? I'm trying to get here, bro, because this is where the grinding spot is. <laughs> It's where the grinding spot, but where's the door? Where's the road that leads to it? There's a tower there. And I keep... There's the bridge over there. How do you get over there? This game is really bad, dude. Like, really sucks balls. It's, like, so fucking difficult, dude. To get to play, from place A to B, man. They, they made it like it's not direct it's not direct you get fucked in the ass there's obstacles everywhere there's terrain up and down left and right you can't go straight straight to it it's always some some stupid shit that's fucking blocking you look dude how the fuck did I end up here when I want to I wanted to f get to this fucking road that goes up here, bro. It's that fucking simple, man. 
I'm fucking pissed, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is it is it, is it that hard to fucking follow a road here? You fuck. Which one is it? Four. 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 It's four. Well, I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. It's just frustrating at times. Okay, there's the little four there, and it's gonna cut to the left. Cut to the left. Shoot. Cut to the left. There you go. Then it, after this, cut to the left. Cut to the left. Get to the grinding spot. <laughs> yeah. Here. Cut to the left. Cut to the left, my friend. Cut to the left. This is the road you need to take. I know there's a dragon on that bridge. Oh my goodness. Look at this fucking shit. It's a fuck fest. Oh, fuck me in the ass, dude. Luckily, I'm a good driver and I saw where I could see ahead of, of myself. Look, a bonfire is here. Hey, we're almost close. To, we're almost at the grindy spot. You know about this grindy spot? It's, it's the, this is my quickest grindy spot in the game. I don't know about any other spot. This is the one that gives me at least 2,000 souls. And it, it's very beneficial, you know, because 2,000 souls, you could just, you know, you know you're about the, the little people. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the, that's the, that's in the, in the blood area. We're almost there. Putrid Avatar, oh my goodness. I'm trying to get to the... Oh, fuck, he's doing some electricity shit. Run. No, I don't know what little people... Oh, there, there's the tower that we need to get. Also, there's a the talisman there that gives you another... Uh, another slot another another spell slot oh shit free money I need it for the souls or you could you could cheese this area to oh fuck me in the ass please don't do the no fall damage hell yeah what recovery right here they give you a weapon slot over there if you could do a good jump over there a double jump get a get an easy weapon slot uh, spell slot medallion there I'll get it later but I'll show you the show you the epic where, where this is right here did, did it even show that I found this <clears throat> oh you need the key I forgot how to get, open this Lenin's rise it's right here there we go go get to Lenin's rise and let me show you the let me show you the grinding spot you get on your horse get on your horse you go down here take this road down here and be careful watch your back just keep watching your back dude do not forget about your back okay come over here try to get try to line up a little bit like that don't don't face over there face over here right where this these little rocks areas are and then look behind you you just don't face that way because you have to turn around oh shit oh here it is and then then run your ass before it takes you down then it falls it dissolves and you get souls <coughs> I don't know which little people. The little people that you're talking about, that's in the blood area. That's what I'm trying to get later with the, the Bloody Fingers Covenant quest line. When you kill two bosses, Margaret and the grafted guy. There's two bosses, the first two bosses in the game. Then that mannequin guy that from the first step goes to a goes to a blood church in the water I mean I think it might be this one I don't know there's like a little bandit near the, the beast how much do they give you sir this one gives you 2,000 
It's just the quickest. It's just the quickest. Like no fighting and just, just running back and forth. And then right here, and then and then where the fuck? It might kill you though. There it is, four thousand right off the bat. So imagine you could do this every fucking two minutes. Two thousand, two thousand, two thousand each minute. Age thirty second, tiny. Yeah, that's easy. So I just come here just to get some like. Sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes that fucking ball kills me. And sometimes if you run away, it doesn't activate that it died. So you, you killed it for nothing and didn't get any souls. <laughs> it's frustrating. So you have to be accurate, like like what I'm doing here, and then make it face step. And then, oh, oh damn, we don't got fucked up. Did it die though? 40. I have 4,000. Nope, it didn't die. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay, so that's when you die. That's when you die. So it's just easy souls, you know. I figured this is a really nice spot where you could just get two thousand souls. Two, hey, dude, two thousand souls is hard. It's not. It's not too like it. Two thousand souls is, is it, to get while well, just fighting. That's nothing to brag about like like it's hard to get 2,000 souls bro when you can get 2,000 souls like in one second and shit it's it's big even though it's kind of like not the best farming spot it's it it's 100% reliable and if you just take a little time maybe like get I, I, went, I went to 30,000 once it took a long time because I calculated how many uh smithing materials I needed so it was like I needed 30,000 dude so I have 7,000 right now right I went up to 30,000 doing this but but do you do you know the other epic spot do you, do you know the bloody area the best the best farming spot I'll take you there right now if you, if you don't know where it is I have it in my soul level 1 playthrough my soul level. Oh shit, I'm dead. And then this one doesn't work. I don't know. I'll show it to you right now. See, I fucked up right there. You saw that? That's why I told you to face the other way. If your horse is facing this way, you know how the turn is. Then it, then it, just, yeah. You have to time it really good so you can jump off. So now you know the farming spot. Make your way to Lenin's, uh, Lenin's rise, Soviet Union. <laughs> Lenin. Uh, and then you, 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 you see where it is. Easy. Oh, e easy farm. Now, let me show you my soul level one, which is basically my first playthrough. Uh, Captain O.P. O'Neill stopped me. But I'm still there. Still hope. To pay him a visit. Well, yeah, tell him I said hi when you get there. Hopefully, you could defeat him for me. For yourself. But, uh... 125 hours so level one ladies and gentlemen my scout my ranger my strider build he tells me what is good he tells me what is good and that's how I ended up playing playing my games having all the information that I did at soul level one without even leveling up ladies and gentlemen plus 19 weapon Am I good? No, I'm not good. Are these games easy? Yeah, they are, dude. They just some bosses are a little bit stupid. So under Kalid, under Kalid, let me show you where where this guy is. So this is the Blood Church, right? After you defeat the boss from the Stormvale Castle and the first boss, Ma, Ma Margaret, 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 and then. And then, of course, you know, Godric. Yeah, once you defeat Godric and and Margit, those two dudes, the guy from the first, the, the guy that's chilling right here with that mannequin mask, he moves to, um, to the Rose Church. And he gives you two fingers to invade invaders. So you invade three invaders, like online PvP. Win or lose, regardless. As long as you get an invasion locked in, 
when she finished the third invasion, win or lose, dude, believe me, I lost. So I could tell you, you just invade, die, and get the fuck out. Invade again three times. Talk to him again. He'll, he gives you this. He gives you uh, this. But I forgot to tell you one last mission. This is the hardest part. Before he gives you that crest, he wants he gives you a, a towel, a paper towel. And he wants you to fill it with blood of a maiden. Well, there's evidently there's a church, which is called the Church of the Inhibition. It took me it was a bitch for me to get here. So once you invade three times, he tells you to go take this rag this cloth and dip it in blood of a maiden go to the church of inhibition this is the bitch and then she's dead i don't know what the fuck she's doing and then you uh i guess you put the cloth with blood go back to the church with the bloody cloth and then he gives you the crescent. So that's the quest I'm trying to do right now in my current playthrough. But I need to kill G Margaret and uh, Godric first for him to move to this. Then I'll go here to the Church of Enemy, which is a bitch. Yes. It's just easy peasy stuff. I'm sending you to the, the best grinding spot, bro. So do that. I'm telling you step by step. After you beat Margaret and God Godric, first two bosses in the game, make your way to this church here. It's this big rock area here, right from the minor tree. Can't miss it, right? The closest bonfire is the Academy Gate Town, so you have to go this way. Bloop. And then, and then he he gives you three fingers, invade three times, win or lose. Talk to him again, and then. Come to this church, uh, fill the, the cloth with blood, bring it back, bring it back to him. He gives you this. He gives you this. And then when you use that, when you use that, my friend, when you use that, you get, you, you get instantly teleported to, uh, to this location. Yes, and they put it. And you could do this very early on in the game, sir. You could, that, you could do this soul level one and get to the fucking farming spot. You get to the Mahuen Palace. I'm not gonna show you where the fuck, how to get to, what to do, and how to get where, cause it's a bitch. So you run like this. You run. Okay, so you start from here, I believe. I, I guess you start from here, but then. There's a bonfire to your right, so don't forget it. <laughs> if you run your ass around and shit. Uh, there's a bonfire here in Italy to your right. So you go like this. You go like this. Hug the hug the left wall. Hug it, hug it, hug it. No, don't hug it. Just basically just come this way. No, no. Hug the, the left wall. And then come this way. There's a little opening right here. Out of the bloody river shit. Come all the way up here, bro. All the way up here, bro. To the Palace Approach Ledge Road. Make it there, dude. Whatever you do, just make it there. Just make it there, dude, okay? And then... And then th these dudes right here... These dudes right here, they're, they're good for killing, right? This is what people do. They kill these dudes. But guess what some, some genius found? I'll show you what some genius found. Some fucking genius? Found even a better fucking farming spot in the same fucking farming spot. So people were killing these for massive amount of souls. But look at this. Get yourself a bow or a or a or a crossbow. Point it to that bird over there. You see that ledge right there? So you shoot this motherfucking bird. And then, and then he was, the birds are like, fuck you. And they look at my souls. I have zero souls. 11 sweeps. I still have not gotten to this area. This is just a quick area that I'm trying to get there. So look at that. You get 11 
What's that? 11,000? You like that it's here? And I did this all at Soul Level 1. You see, I'm, I'm, I did this at Soul Level 1. It's not my fashion, by the way. It's all because of manipulate, manip, ma, stat manipulation. So there. Get your ass over here. Get yourself your 11 until they patch it. So I'm trying to get there right now on my uh, on my my guts build, spiked club build, and I try to do all. I'm trying to do all those things. My soul level one, that motherfucking my soul level one went everywhere, dude. He did he, he got stopped by by Commander Op O'Neill. I'm 50 hours into my only character and still in Lumia. Yeah, I hear you, dude. I kind of like mastered the the OP strats, so I'm trying to do that with all my playthroughs now. I know everything in the beginning area. I know where to get things. Mind you, I have to fucking Google them again because memory. So much shit to fucking remember. But I, I know what I'm looking for, so I'm not lost. I made it to the point where I need to get one more medallion to get to the next area. The only OP stuff is uh, plus nine moon veil. <laughs> Dude, I thought they nerfed that. Is it still good in uh, PvE, I guess? No, no, it's, they nerfed all that shit, even Ice Frost. So there you go. Now you save the bonfire. I've been using it for PvE. Oh, have you? yeah, PvE is good. Is it still good? I don't know if I'll be able to use it as whole level 1. So you shoot this fucker. Oh, dude, why do I even have this? I wanted to use the cheap bow. Oh shit, I'm, sh I'm shooting fucking blood bowls that I was using on O'Neal because that he's weak to blood, but he still fucks me up. And you shoot this stupid bird. It still works for me, but uh, I'm level 70, I think. I'm pretty sure bleed is still stronger. Yeah, I have the rivers of blood. Katana. It's hard to hit him though. What the fuck? He derps. I got him. There we go. Give me my souls. 11, 0, 3, 8, 22. So are you going to make it here? Farm, your, farm yourself? Farm yourself some souls? So that's my soul level 1. He's kind of like stuck on Commander O'Neill. Pay him a visit for me. He has great hospitality. Tell me how it goes. I got to find out how to get there. Oh, I, I just showed it here how to get there. I shouldn't have took out the. I shouldn't have took it out. So I, I've I have 125 hours on my soul level one, and Captain uh, Op O'Neill fucked me up. Commander Op O'Neill at Castle Soul over in the snowy area. So I said, okay, I'll stop right there. Okay. I said, I'll stop with Commander O'Neill, and then I just said, okay, I got all this information. I made a spite club build. And I'm trying to get to that spot that I just showed you very early on. But you have to kill Margit and um, Godf Godfried. Got to find out how to get there. It's pretty simple, dude. Just kill Godfried and God and Margaret. So go to the Blood Church. Go to, go to the blood church right here. I already found out where it was. Is this island right here? Go to that island right there. And there, the mannequin guy that was talking to you when you first started the game gives you three fingers. Invade, invade three times, win or lose. Talk to him again. He'll give you a cloth where you need to get to a church right here. Fill the cloth with the blood of a maiden, which some lady is just sitting there, and it just fills the cloth with blood. Return to the to the said gentleman from the beginning, first step that moved to a rose blood church, and then he'll give you a crescent that will instantly teleport you to under under Caled, where that area is, and then you have to run your ass to that location. That's the hardest part, by the way. But as long as you make it to that. The bonfire that I tell you, make sure you come equipped with an arrow or a crossbow and shoot the bird. Or if you like, shoot the, kill the enemies that are just sitting there. Because those are two options. But I've been just shooting the bird because who wants to fight? 
and also this is another little grinding spot that uh, that's here in this area that just gives me 2000 so okay i i got kayla just have i got under the ground yet well that's how you get under the the ground in there this is just a quick little 2000 souls i guess i i guess it, i guess i didn't sit on the bonfire i'm about to do that right now good to know thanks yeah well you know soul level one likes to know everything and i got there I think I got all the information I needed. I need to kill Cap Commander O.P. O'Neill to get to the other area so that I could get more stuff to be overpowered. But Commander O'Neill stopped that. I pay him a visit, huh? Did they kill the sleeping dragon there? No. I kind of I kind of didn't do a lot of things with my soul level one. It was mostly like get, get the bells so I could upgrade my weapons. How far can I take my soul level one until the game stops me? Well, it was Commander O'Neill. Yeah, it's Commander O'Neill that stopped me. Because on the other side of Commander O'Neill, you, you need two tablets. There's a quest line that you, you, you get two two tablets for the elevator, and they'll take you to the area where I need to get the second, um, the plus seven and eight bell, so I can buy them from the merchant in the round table. You have to be Commander O'Neill and have two, the two tablets for the next elevator to get the seven and eight bell. I just have to be Commander O'Neill. Easy, right? So I haven't killed anything really. I don't know anything about dragons or anything. Sleeping dragon there, huh? Hmm, no, I haven't done anything. Bosses are really hard for, for soul level ones. And I don't like to do the challenge. I, I, I only do it for... Ooh! This is 1,952. Just say 2,000. Easy 2,000 every run. It's the quickest way to get money in case you need some easy cash. Daniel's Castle. Daniel's Rise uh, Side of Grace. Easy 2000. Just, just easy money whenever you just need some souls. The other one is the epic one for like levels and buying fucking materials. You could also kill the, the little guys but the beast up north. Just got to get past the dragon on the bridge. The, the big dragon that you kill that you cheese with bleed. And it gives you a, a lot of money. I haven't killed that because if you kill the, the... You're probably talking about a different one. But the dragon here. If I kill this dragon. I read that all the dragons disappear. And I don't want the dragons to disappear. I don't. So what was I doing though? What was I doing? Um, I was just showing some, some stress that I learned at Soul Level 1. Uh, let me show you my strats on this build. What I'm trying to do is, is put 50 strength and get the second bell. So I can upgrade this to do more damage. Because I'm already getting the scaling. I'm going to have 50. And I'm just kind of like memeing through the games to see how, how I could kill things really fast. I want to put points in bigger, but I need to get to that farming spot. Not that dragon. If you go more up north, there are really small dudes that are pretty strong, but easy to kill. They give 1.2k per kill. That's, that sounds great. Mind you, I was a soul level 1 on my other playthrough, and I was just not fighting really things. I try to find easy, easy farms like this one. Get on the horse, ball. Tries to hit you, falls off the cliff, easy 2,000. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead to the to that uh, OP fucking uh, farming spot that I just showed you, man. I did it with my soul level one. It's pretty simple. Really easy quest. Just getting there is kind of difficult. So I'm, I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to get upgrade materials because I want to main this. I want to main this. Because I want to do a, a PvP build with this. Poison Club. Yeah, that's, that's the price I was trying to talk about. That's the place you were trying to talk about? I have to do it later at work right now. Oh, you're at work right now? It's a lot of fun, dude. Near Be Beast Sanctum. I know where Beast Sanctum is. It's it's a, it's Isn't it this? No. It's in the woods. It's like a round kind of thing, like a mausoleum, right? I don't know where it is. 
Is it that one? Is it actually this one? Is this the base mausoleum? There's a dragon there. But the little people outside? They get Well, the, close, the, the easiest way to get there is this one. Let me check it out. That's the only farm spot I know. Oh, that's the only farm spot you know. I, I, only, I have two. The most OP one. This little small one. But I don't know about that one. The little dudes there. But the balls are super easy to kill. We got an S tier. <laughs> you can make it from the grave. I could. I, I Well... I'm gonna try to make it from over here and then get to this bridge, right? Hopefully I don't get lost again. Is, can I go down from here? Seems like I could. You know how hard it is to... Oh no! How hard it is to go to places and shit every turn. You can take the other bridge. It's safer, is it? Err. I, thought, I thought going down is safer. Cause there's a there's a there's a monster up there on that bridge. Well, let's see what I let's see what I can do. The bridge by the grace you were at. Oh, I didn't even see it. I'm gonna risk it though. A minor error tree. Uh oh. You fucking piece of shit! You do the D quest line, you can TP there from the portal. Oh. D, have you done his quest line? I've seen it on, on Twitch. I can't believe what happened to him. Why did. Why did that. Why did that lady do that to him? What kind of shit they had? I've done part of it. Oh. What kind of relationship did they have? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna concentrate on the blood on the blood quest line. So that I could get to the farming spot so I could level up really quick with this character. I'm, get off my ass. I'm gonna stay away from you so you won't get no range on me again, you fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's with... Oh, they live in death. Infaction, which is direct enemy of defense. Oh, is that fucking right? That's fucking crazy, dude. Oh my goodness. You meant the other bridge that's down, huh? Not that bridge. Get the fuck out of this bridge. So that I could have gone. Oh yeah, I'm turning around. The fucking shit was right at my face. Okay, so where is this bridge? Is there another bridge you're talking about? It's a small bridge downstairs, right? It's the one I was at, huh? I'm making it difficult, am I? I had it easy, and I'm making it more difficult. So, how do you get to this one? So it's this way. Oh, well, damn. There's two bridges? That one and this one, the small one. But it's a great game. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I've noticed that every time I start a new playthrough, because I've, I've done multiple playthroughs, trial and error stuff, it's really slow. It, 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 it picks up. Oh my goodness, I'm poisoned now. What the fuck? It takes a little while to get going, you know? Like, I'm I, I know what to do. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, you'll be wandering everywhere, dude. That's what I did with my solo one, but he, he taught me everything I, I know now. I'm not lost anymore. I know exactly what to do. To, I have calculated moves and shit. And once I get OP, I start killing bosses.
I was doing uh, the, I was doing, I was connecting the rot, the death rot. Go around and give it to the grace. She don't, there's somebody just standing there waiting for me, dude. I bet you I could cheese him with, uh, with, with poison. I don't have to kill him? Oh, okay. Things connected to the NPC that is there. If I'm not wrong. Hmm. So I was, I was like, I gave him five death rots by killing them. I went to two dungeons. Then I killed the three boat guys. Even the one over there in the plateau. I gave him, I gave him, uh, he gave me some cool shit up for my soul level one, right? And all of a sudden, he went aggro on me, dude. He started fucking me up. And evidently, he just goes aggro because of death rod. And then you have to put him in his place and, and fuck him up to a certain uh, amount of time. Like, do some damage to him. And then he comes back to his senses. Fortunately, I haven't been able to make him come back to his senses. So he's still aggro on me on my soul level one. Is that true? I just run around and kill little dudes and give you good ones. Yeah, I have not gotten to that point yet. Yeah, well, it's funny, dude, because I, I thought I fucked up the game. I thought I, I thought, because I was practicing the spells he was, he gave me, right? I was practicing the spells on the wall. All of a sudden, something kills me and shit, right? Like, who the fuck? And then I reload it, right? I reload it, and then I'm like, who the fuck is, who the, is there somebody, what the, and then this motherfucker is just aggro on me, you know, and I'm like, did I hit him? Did I hit him? I was hitting the wall. <laughs> With, and I don't know. So I, I, I googled it and shit. And then evidently he aggroes after the fifth death rot. Can, can you try to confirm that for me, dude? For yourself? And then you have to defeat him. Not defeat him, but fuck him up a little bit, you know? So he can come back to his senses. And then he, he, he then he's chill again. But he's aggro with me right now, though. He's aggro. I haven't met, got him back to his senses. That same thing happened to me. Also, it's 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 it's, it's scripted, okay? Because I, I thought I fucked up the game, dude. Because I was practicing some spells, and I said, "Did I shoot that motherfucker?" <laughs> what the hell's? <coughs> he doesn't aggro, bruh. Don't attack him. What's going on? What little guy? The only thing I see is a big fucker just fucked me up. I should have poisoned him. I could poison him, by the way. I'm not sure how to poison this fucker. I'd rather have the spell poison. I recommend you get the, the spell poison, okay? Run past that thing? Shit. He hit me. He started it. You go to the left or right. So, so he's really an enemy. So he really does aggro. Check this out. I'm gonna show you something real quick. See, see how he doesn't doesn't do anything. See, my weapon has my weapon has basically poison throw, and it buffs it. That's why I'm I'm doing a playthrough, and it has bleed as well. It's just it's just how I roll. That's my main. It's disgusting. I know it's not good, but. I'm the try her killer and I need a reinforced club that does bleed. So I could get the buff for the buff. I could buff it. I think I could buff it. I'm not too sure. I doubt it. I could probably buff it with poison. But it, it, po it I have the weapon ash that actually poisons. To kill your cheese when you, you can get it. Yeah. I've been cheesing a lot of enemies like this, but I don't think this fucker. Uh, I don't like using I don't like using this weapon as a cheese because it's they aggro when I when I when I implement it. But the, the spell, when I have the actual spell with the talisman thingy, you could just go behind them. Just go behind them and just keep using using it. This one right here, you have to go like this. And I'm I'm at risk of hitting him. And evidently it doesn't seem like you poison him.
What the fuck? Evidently he doesn't poison, so we don't even try it. I didn't see him get poisoned. We go to the left and right? Yeah, I'm going to the left and right, bro. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get OP. I'm trying to get OP so I could I could kill the first two bosses to get to the best grinding spot. So the question is, the challenge is, because I investigated it. Alright, so you started a new playthrough. Well, first of all, you need to upgrade your weapon. The, the best part of it is that you, you could you could get the first upgrade material, the first bell right here. These small dudes have pretty uh, obvious attack animations. Some do have range attacks. Just be on the lookout for that, huh? So this is where you get the first, um, the first bell to buy one and twos from the round table merchant. That's all you have. Unless you get the the tablets and run your ass to the to the elevator over here to get to the plateau and then get to this area to to this area of the capital and there's another spot right there where you get the the second one so you can buy twos and threes which the ones I need which I have the I have the tablets I got them from from Fort Hate and Fort Froth. Faroth. <coughs> Excuse me. So you, I could actually take it and get the second bell right now. Just gotta make my way there. So that's that's your two steps: the two bells, the two medallions. Upgrade your weapon as much as you can. Get the second bell. Bring it back to the lady. And then kill the first two bosses I have the two sides of the coin I just never knew when or where to use them been playing them playing pretty much blind unless a friend tells me about something if you ever use a somber weapon there is a way to get it plus nine super early well you did you see my soul level one I, I, I I've, I've gotten a couple of them I think I got them all up there <coughs> Damn, I'm almost here to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. Three more minutes, I guess. I'm, I don't know why my throat is coughing. I guess I'm talking too much. All right, let, me, let me get a little, a little snack here. <coughs> I don't have any water here, but I had a little snack, though. And my mouth was getting dry. My throat. What, the birds? <laughs> Little guys, no, the birds. Where are they? Downstairs? Please don't aggro. Left or right? So you, this, is a, this is where you farm? Where are they? Down, more down? Very early, you say, huh? Well, I did. I did. I do have a YouTube. Uh, I did like a YouTube video that talked about where to get them, the somber ones. Thing is, I didn't really get that many somber weapons, but I do have the somber, the somber bells. I also got them too, cause. Yeah, of course, I need him for Soul Level 1. Oh, these assholes? Oh, dude, these assholes are assholes, dude. I hate these fucks. How much souls do they give? 1.k? Well, the run with the ball gives you 1.9. 1,900. I just say 2,000. It's up to you if you want to fight here or go ahead and do that little ball trick. I think the ball is a little bit more efficient. Just got to run with the horse and it's easier. 
What do you say? What do you think? Because then you have to look for these fucks, right? I think the ball wins. I'm glad I showed you that, dude. My soul level one likes to be efficient. <laughs> this misses, though. This fucking misses. It's not locked on the third hit, though. I mean, I was one shotting them, but uh, I was using my weapon skill. Oh. This one only has this type. Kind of like a combo shit. You know, with Katana? I got their uh, helmet to drop on uh, in the in the university. Damn, dude, if shit rolled all the way over there. Well, now you know you don't have to struggle with these fucks anymore. Go, go, go to that ball and let it drop. Easy one thousand two hundred. Easy one thousand two hundred. So, let's go try the fight again with um, Margit. Margit, where's Margit? By the way, is he here? Oh, is he? Yeah, he's here, isn't he? I'm going to get to the bird after work. Yeah, and then try to do the the, the quest for that dude in the beginning with the hat. But do you know who I'm talking about? I think he's still at, he's still at the at the first place for me. I think it's best just to show you so you know who he is. The white mask var guy. The white mask guy. After you defeat Margit and uh, Gottfried, he moves to the Blood Church. Him right here. Yeah, I'm at that point. He moved after you beat those two dudes that I just said. Make your way over here. Start doing the quest. He gives you three shit to invade. Invade. Win or lose. Then he gives you a cloth. Come over here. Get the cloth. It's a bitch to get here, but uh, online it said it's the closest one to get. So I don't know if you, if you find a better maiden to use it, but I just went here. Came here. Got the cloth, the bloody cloth, and then he came back here and he gave me the medallion that made me to, made me go over there. So, and that's where the grinding spot was. So it's pretty simple. So, what you need to kill is Godfrey and Mark and Moses fucking fuck's name, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm doing those strats right now. So your main objective to get to the grinding spot is kill Godfrey, Mor Morgid, and Gottfried, I think it's called Gottfried, this asshole right here, and then the next one. That's challenge accepted? How are you going to do that? How are you going to, how are you going to upgrade your weapon? I'm telling you, get the first metal, find a grinding spot, and then it, if you really want to be super OP, like I already have the medallions, look. See? I already have the medallions, the Dectus medallions. They're easy to get. To get to uh, get to here, and then get to the plateau, and then get to the left of the the capital, and then there's an area where you get the second medallion. So you could buy two and threes from this merch from yeah two and threes, and give it to the merchant at the round table. And I'm sure you could upgrade your shit. Matter of fact, I didn't have any money to upgrade my weapon, so let me go see. Double check before I come end the stream with a fight. I'm going to end the stream with an attempt to Mordrick. So now you know what I'm doing. I'm doing the beginning OP strats. But you have to defeat these two bosses in order to get to that area to do that and invade. And invade three times, like online for real. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Plus six. Oh, look at that. Plus seven. I need four out of three. I need one, three. And this is where, 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 where my point comes. He gave me the fingers. I just have not invaded anyone. Invade three times, win or lose, sir. Talk to him after you invade three times, win or lose. Doesn't fucking matter. Talk to him after the third time. He'll give you the bloody fucking, the cloth. Take it to the fucking shit I told you. Upstairs, up there with that 
I don't know how to tell you the map. It's I, I don't have it here, but it's a church up here. You can see the little blocky thingy. There's a maiden there. And then go back to him, and then you're good as... You're, you're done. He will give you the medallion to teleport to the underground area here, and then just run where I told you. <laughs> it's the hardest part to run over there, I tell you that right now. Good luck. Once you're there, you could have a lot of souls. And that's what I'm trying to do right now at low levels. But the only problem is you have to kill... What's his name? <laughs> kill the two first bosses. That's a good challenge. I like it. I like this game. I like the the way it's set up. That's what I wanted to find out. Like, How did they set up the game for like if you want to do this and how easily and accessible things are. And that's what I like to, uh, that's what my soul level one basically like to, likes to do. And then once I find out, I, I create little playthroughs like this. How are you going to beat Gottfried and uh, Morgan early on to get to the best grinding spot? <clears throat> you could do two things. Get the first and second bell. Get the first and second bell, upgrade your shit at the at the ball farming spot, and then once you have a plus, I believe I could have I will I could have this to plus nine <coughs> because I could go get the three and four the three and four um, bell by just running to the elevator. Here's Mister. What's his name? Five hundred and eighty damage, sir. And 80 damage. 180 damage. Well, and he's one shotting me. And it doesn't matter what. Oh, cheeky bastard. You see? I just need to have good dodging skills and I could beat him. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Could use Roger and Jellyfish. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Let me use them. Because I don't care about, like, I'm not doing a challenge run. Anything just to beat the first two bosses, you know what I mean? Like, I I'm cheesing it with with uh, 41 strength. Look, I could have put fucking HP in, the, in my build. But we're good players. We know how to play the game. I'm just trying to like have the the scaling already before I, I get the upgrades. You know what I'm saying? 361 right now. It seems garbage to me, you know? It seems something like garbage scaling for this great sword, but who knows? Okay, let's use the dude. I should have upgraded them. I, I found some jelly, some jelly uh Upgrade materials, dude. The upgrade materials for the spirits. Let's do this. Oh, dude, and I forgot about the shackle, bro. Oh no! No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll reset that. He jumps up when I use the shackle, dude. Everyone got their own way of playing, dude. That's a quote of Elden Ring. Everyone has their own way of playing. Literally, I enjoy the fun weapons fashion to me. Fashion so make things harder. Really, they need to be sometimes. What is the shackle? Oh, it's another she's you get from uh, the uh, patches. Patches is in uh, chilling in the in the Morkwater cave, but you, there's an invader that invades you. That you, if you kill him, he, you get this weapon. Because I enjoy the the light armor. Oh, 
If you kill that invader, he they give you the Reduvia? The Reduvia. Right? The guy, the guy, the right there where that guy invades you? Well, well, once he invades you, you, um, you can't enter the cave until you kill him. F on patches after killing Morgan. Oh, yeah, with well, it's a cheese. There's so, there a couple of these shackles that you uh, you can use on certain bosses too. I use it on a uh, on maggot Ma maggot from from the Glendale Capital. It's the only way to get to the snowy area. You have to kill the these great great room bosses, which is the the lady here, the magician lady. And then over there in Linden, you have to heal. You have to kill all that. I think it's Margot and then you'll be able to go to the snowy area and of course you know snowy area Mr. Uh, Commander O.P. O'Neill killed a run so little run run but it's good I saw the information I needed the shackle kind of you'll see what the shackle does but the fucker jumped he needs to be on the ground for the shackles to work it binds him to the ground I don't know how it works or why it works but it only works for the first phase like two times. <clears throat> I'll do it once he does start doing some shit. Get fucked, nerd. Oh, get off of me, you fucking spears. But I need, I need, I need. Why doesn't it work? Oh, dude, I fucked up. I should have done it over here. Oh, a bad fucking. Oh, and it stun locked him. Oh, shit. Get away from me. What a fucking intro. Thanks for the tip, dude. I forgot about the summons. I was trying to beat him, like, like by myself. Now you can't do it anymore. You could try, but it doesn't work. See? Only works for the first first phase. And if I fucking do this, I'll get fucked. Oh, and he's fucking stun locked, dude. And he got him. Let me get it, nerd. This motherfucker's dead. <laughs> oh shit, I did it. Oh, Roger fucking died, bro. What happens if he dies? He doesn't appear in all the other areas? I heard I heard that I heard that if your summons died, they don't appear anymore for other other fights. What the fuck, Roger? Fucking Roger. So that's what that does. It makes the fight a lot easier. We're gonna hit that 50 real soon, aren't we, ladies and gentlemen? Dude, these levels are garbage. 37 strength. I only have 37 strength. You're good. He died for me. As well, but you can still continue with the story if you are worried about that. I was worried about that because I heard that if NPCs die, they won't be able to appear later on. Like when I first started playing the game, a little research. It's one of the things I've heard first off. But yeah, I'm pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will try it for Godric. I'll try for Godric after I get the second bell, so I can upgrade my weapon a little bit more. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Nice seeing you. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.